Now, Bunny. Yes. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Oh, I'm so excited. I wanted to talk about a subject that we that we love here on the Pope on Film podcast. A topic that we talk about oh so many times. Okay. On the show. So many times we have talked about this uh, topic, this subject on the show. I am, of course, talking about child decapitations. Awesome. Yeah, I remember Love that. Em. Love so, them. So, so many episodes. We, we've laughed and cried and held hands talking about 10-year-old children who get their heads cut off. Yeah. You may remember the story, but here's a refresher. In 2016, a 10-year-old child was riding a new water slide at the Schlitterbahn Water Park in Kansas City. Schlitterbahn? I've been there. The Schlitterbahn? Well, there's like there's like four different Schlitterbahns. Oh. This is the one in Kansas City. There are okay, four different okay. Schlitterbahns? <laughs> Kansas City, Kansas, I believe. So there's a there's a, a, a couple of Schlitterbahns, and there's one in, there's one or two in Texas, but this kid was riding a new ride at the Schlitterbahn in Kansas City. The ride was called Verrucht. 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 There's two R's in there. Verrucht, which is German for crazy. Like the chick from the craft. No, that was Faruka. That was Faruka something. Okay. Faruka Salt. A, a, the ride was heavily hyped for being the world's tallest and fastest water slide ever created. It started up at 168 feet 7 inches into the sky. That's where you started the ride. Okay. Uh, elevators or, if you're really healthy, the stairs? No. She, she's thinking you just fucking tell that's actually that's actually there. That's actually taller than Niagara Falls for a visual. Okay? okay, and and at its fastest, this water slide hits speeds of up to sixty-five miles an hour. Yeah. Okay. So, so a ten-year-old kid named Caleb Schwab was riding it, and during a bump in the ride, specifically the second bump, he flew into the air out, off of his raft, flew into the air, and hit a steel safety bar. And was instantly decapitated. That's ironic. Yeah, he was. He had his head cut off by the safety bar. Jesus, Christ. that is. Also, see, that is so it? not cool. You know what's? You know what's really not cool about that? What is that? The French did many studies because they had the guillotine. And your head stays alive anywhere between 5 and 15 minutes. No. Oh, Jesus Christ. The you first be going really fast. The to first be decapitated by something solid. Yeah, the well, first 65 drop. miles an hour. <laughs> no, this this is this is this is right here is where where he got decapitated cuz the first drop is so ridiculously fast that by the time you go up and you hit this first bump People would just fly into the air. So they made this like safety net around the ride so that people wouldn't fly off of the ride, which also happened despite the safety net. <laughs> but it, in order to keep that net on there, you needed like these safety bars and the safety bars had a habit of hurting and in one case killing a child. Let me tell you the really fucked up thing about this, about this. Okay. Yeah. Is that, um, Schlitterbahn would have gotten a wrist slap or a fine, but the dead kid ended up being the son of a Kansas House of Representative member. <laughs> okay. So, oops. I, I, you got to imagine that Schlitterbahn was like, a kid died, please say he was black, please say he was black. Black or Mexican, we should be fine. Damn it, he's a white kid. And Damn it, he's a white kid who's a family <laughs> member to the Kansas House of Representatives. Worst case scenario. Because honestly, if it was like a minority kid, then this would not be a major story. If the kid was a, if it was a poor black kid, this would not be a major story. That's homeless, the fucked up part about it. Homeless kid who just wandered into Schlitterbahn. <laughs> yeah. So, 
because the kid was the the only son of a Kansas House of Representative member, they didn't just throw the book at Schlederbahn. They threw the author at them. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you for what, laughing what at did that. did they do? Bella had no idea what I was talking about, and I had to, like, walk her through it. <laughs> you mean threw the author? And I'm like, well, they, first they throw the book, but that's not enough. So then they throw the author of the book, and once I explain it to you, it's not funny. Yeah. So you just you just emptied that joke. Thank you for that. So a, about a week or two ago, a grand jury indicted the water park, the owner of the water park, the co-owner of the water park, the former director of operations at the water park, the construction company that made the ride, and John Schooley, the lead designer of the ride. This story is crazy. The indictment is almost 50 pages long. Yeah. And it's fucking insane. The story of the creation of this ride is insane. In fact, I considered using it for the next Steve historical approximations, or SHAP, as I like to call it. Mm -hmm. But I deemed it too recent. You know, this is a segment about history, not recentery. Yes. Not nowstery. History. Not herstory. Or herstory. Or herstory, you know, to be fair. Mm Mm-hmm. So here's the story. First off, the ride was created solely to impress a Travel Channel show. Okay. Like there were people from the Travel Channel and they they, they visited the Schlitterbahn water park and they said, oh, hey, that's great. Yeah, no, we'll film a little bit of our travel show here. Oh, you should film more. Oh, well, we'll film more when you come up with an amazing ride. Maybe something, you know, we have this world record show. If you came up with a world record, we'd definitely come here and make a big deal about it. But until you do that, I guess we'll see you some other time, Schlederbahn. Yes. So it was created solely to impress a travel channel TV show, number one. Uh, Secondly, they rushed the design... (laughs) It wasn't even the good travel channel TV show. Yeah. They could have gotten Ghost Adventure. Yeah. 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 <laughs> they could definitely No, they can't. Well, well maybe they can, they they've since taken down the Verrucht. They they've tore it down. Yeah. So hopefully the ghost of <laughs> a uh, the ghost little of Jimmy Caleb Schwab. Hopefully the ghost of Schwab, Caleb Schwab that's why makes he died. it. Yeah. So well, come on, but look at the look on the bright side here. This kid can be one of the headless huntsmen. Yeah, yeah. I don't think there's a yeah the headless side hunt. To the child decapitation. Uh, the bright side to the child really decapitation is this is going to be a great bit for the podcast. It really that's, is. that's the that's the positive. Thanks for taking one for the team, Caleb. Can I add one for the second? <laughs> I'm just saying this is a great episode, Mr. It's an amazing Schwab. story. Can I can I add something for a second? What? Um. Uh, the lore around ghosts is that their spirit is stuck in that traumatic place that they experienced that trauma. So do you think since they took down the ride, that ghost is now just hanging out in the middle of the air where he died? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah. woo! Hoping somebody just happens to, to look up and yeah. <laughs> yeah. spot him. It's going to be so, difficult yeah. for the ghost to constantly have his hands up going, <laughs> woo! That's got to be difficult. He should have kept his hands on the raft. They rushed the Maybe designing. He <laughs> decapitated. They rushed the designing of the ride. They rushed the the construction of the ride. They didn't follow safety rules in creating the ride. And here's the best. Here's the best part. The designer of the ride had zero experience in making things. <laughs> Not just zero experience in making like water park rides or making rides, period, but he just never built anything. He had no experience whatsoever. That's just like, uh, so we need to build this uh, Disney World ride and we need it now. Eleanor, you're on this. <laughs> come, up with a, come up with a ride for Tron. <laughs> and the entire ride is just. Mommy's boobs, the ride. Yeah. Comes the most popular ride at Disney World. The ride. All the dads are lined up. <laughs> by by the way, thank you. Kevin <laughs> Kevin Swanson uh, does not allow comments Here. on his Facebook page. Go, oh, that's not a Go figure. So I personal <laughs> yeah. personal messaged it to him. 
Nice. There you go. Okay, so that's good. That's good. Excited to see what happens there. So the 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 creation of Verrucht went against many states' safety regulations, which is why it was specifically built at the Schlederbahn location in Kansas, because there, there are literally zero safety regulations for rides. Okay. Oh, to this in Texas, because there are rules against rides that are this tall, and then Kansas is like, you want to build it here? We don't give a fuck. <laughs> so, so, so it well, well, so there, there are some inspections, though. They They go over to the ride, and they push on it some and if it doesn't shake they're like yeah it's good <laughs> yeah so it followed no industry safety standards they had no experience making thrill rides and once it opened and before the 10 year old lost his head a crap ton of people were injured on the ride and the park straight up covered it all up yeah yeah, there was one story that is in the indictment where a family was riding, and the dad in that one in that one uh, in that one uh, bump in the ride, he flew out uh, off of his raft and collided with the safety bar, and then the family without without the dad weighing the raft down. The family rocketed through the rest of the ride and it landed in that that safety pool that's supposed to slow them down. And it didn't slow them down. And they ended up colliding headfirst with a brick wall at the end of the splashdown pool. <laughs> but thankfully, because we're talking about like a 40 year old dad, he didn't get decapitated. He was just severely injured. So it, the fa the entire family was taken to the medical tent, and then the company took statements from the family and took statements from the people working in the medical tent and took statements from witnesses and then destroyed all of those statements. Eleanor can eat peanuts, right? <laughs> yeah. And then they forced the employees at the store to write super safe statements. Yeah. They were literally coached on writing better statements that would uh, shine – on the the company better and stuff so so then so then like six months later one of the teens who was coerced forced into writing this super safe uh statement by the company decides to become a whistleblower and goes to the cops so then he goes to the cops and suddenly the family is visited by this big freaking oh, a lawyer for the water park company who comes to his house to talk to him. Ooh. The kid's 17 years old. The kid's underage. And suddenly, this lawyer's there. Yes, I want to speak to Jonathan. <laughs> Excuse me, I, I, I'm Jonathan's mother, and no. Well, I need to talk to him about an incident that happened at the park. It's important. I've, I, I am a lawyer working on behalf of the park that he is currently employed in. And the mom just goes, okay, well, um, he's already spoken to the police. And then the lawyer is like, well, I need a copy of his statement immediately. And the mom's like, okay, no. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure that's illegal. And also get the fuck out of my house. Basically, the kid was threatened in his, in his own house. An underage kid was threatened in his own house. Well, some... that is America these days. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So there was a shit ton of people that were getting injured at this ride, and the the park was covering it up. And all this time, the ride was failing and breaking and stuff, and there was no upkeep on it. So, so yeah, the park and the various list of bad guys have all been charged with involuntary manslaughter, second-degree murder, aggravated battery, reckless endangerment of aggravated a child. Battery? Aggravated battery? I saw them in concert in 98. Yeah. It was pretty amazing. And they arrested... Awesome t-shirts. The yeah. yeah. They arrested the water park designer at an airport in Texas a few days ago. He engineered the ride, and he had no engineering credentials whatsoever. Like, shit, Maxwell may as well have came up with that ride, you know? Yeah. The amazing thing is that this is all happening right now in the news, and I can't believe that more people aren't fascinated with this, because I am absolutely fucking fascinated with this. I only touched, 
upon a small part of like a 47 page indictment and in small print where where in the news uh mostly like the kansas city star and web pages that talk about water parks and stuff like that you know you're not seeing this in the major news but, and also because the shocking thing, a 10-year-old got decapitated. That happened in 2016, and now it's 2018, and it's difficult to get people excited about this again. Yeah. You know? But this is amazing. This is an amazing story. I, I, I love it. Yeah, I would kind of like to check it out a little further. That's why I was, uh, why, well, why I was I'm Well, I'm sending you a, I'm sending... I'm sending you on Facebook Messenger. I'm sending you a picture of the ride right now. This is an actual photograph that was taken from the ride, and it's insane. I also sent it to Jeannie. And you're going so fast on that first ridiculous drop that when you hit the first major bump, you're going way too fast, and you're just rocketed from the ride. (laughs) And this picture well, that, is... it, but but you know on on some level i'm thinking like that that may be the most awesome ride ever you know i mean yeah. i mean you yeah. get you get on these rides for kind of that thrill of death you know but you you kind of you know you're kind of more passive cuz you're like oh well you know i'm i'm sure this is safe they wouldn't do it if it wasn't safe no, this is this is a ride that delivers on that fucking promise. Which reminds me, um, I'm really excited about Johnny Knoxville's new movie. I'm not sure if I talked about this before. Uh, I'm not sure. His what? new movie, which is coming out this summer, is called Action Park, and it's about Action Park, New Jersey. Okay, yeah. <laughs> The ridiculously dangerous lawsuit capital of the world water park (laughs) that was so dangerous and and had no safety regulations. And so I'm really excited that... um, Action Park! I I remember the commercials very well. Yeah. And, And Johnny Knoxville and one of the other guys from jackass is starring in the movie and so they did all of their own reckless stunts jackass style in the middle of this scripted movie okay so i'm excited to see that because you know how can we explain that action park is recklessly dangerous oh we'll hire one of the two of the jackass guys and have them do reckless stupid ass things in this movie about the most dangerous theme park in the world (laughs) you know that makes a lot of sense to me and um marketing gold yeah. 